What's good? It's your boy Royal Play back with another video. Okay, today we are playing the Gokies. Link World is here, and it's the first deck I'm gonna play with. All right, so this is my build. Um, I had three Suprex. Um, when he's normal summon, he gets he lets you special summon another Goki monster from your hand. Um, Risk Scorpio, just a 23 B stick, can be normal summoned regardless. As long as Goki's on the field, he can be normal summoned um, without tripping there. Twist Cobra, Twist Cobra is the go to deck. It can um, trip the Goki monster and be able to boost. Um, boost another goki monster on the field with that monster that you tribute its original attack which comes in super clutch it's a lot of finesse plays you can do with that then we got two head bat he can special summon from the hand by discarding another goki from your hand um, we also play an iron claw when he, when during the damage step you can discard him and your your goki monster can get 500 attack plus b Un, unaffected by any effects during the damage step and octo stretch which cut a if you're being attacked directly be cut in half and all the goki monsters share an effect where they when they are sent from the field to the graveyard they um let you be able to search another goki that's not their name all right all right we also planned the one goki rematch best card in the deck basically a double monster barn um let you target two go in your graveyard and special summon them to the field in defense mode super good um then you play the one rota super clutch because you really always want to see super x so super x plus any card it's full combo uh, two books of moons one goki finishing move Oh, super OTK card. Pretty much, if you activate this and they can't stop it, you pretty much win because um, it boosts a Goki Link monster by its Link level time, uh, times 1,000, and it may gives them piercing damage as well. So you pretty much can beat over anything because you can get up to. Um, so I think 77 with if you got like Twist Cobra and Giant Ogre on the field, yeah, because you off the jet ogre effect too. But we'll get into the combo to get there. Then you got one face turn when it's uh, you can target one Goki monster on your field, tribute it, and then special summon another Goki from your graveyard. Which most times when I do when I use face turn, most times I'm getting back one of my link cards. So I normally summon one of my uh, regular Gokis, then use face turn to get back one of the other ones. For you can either link climb into a higher monster or even just um Yeah. You either link climb into a higher monster or just to get another body on the field that you need like if you need another twist cobra at the time or yeah basically that and then to compose just because it's links now book of moon always can't help you so use use compose and then two super team buddy force i always play but super team buddy first inside gokis i feel like it just a match made in heaven because it's so easy to uh get them out and also, it's like, since Twist Cobra is only um, once per turn, it's like, if you got to use Twist Cobra on your turn and they still survive somehow, you can always just bring it back with the Goki. Um, you can always just bring it back with the Super Team Buddy Force. If you got, since you'll have another Goki on the field. And also, if for them hands to where you can only normal summon one monster, like if you don't got Suprex or headbed in your hand and you just got like wrist scorpio and twist cobra for, per se you can just always normal summon one of them then super team buddy force can special summon the other one so when they do attack you can do your little 
Twist Cobra plays to finesse your way through it. Uh, yeah. And also, it can bring back the Link Monsters too, so a great way to get those back as well. And then my extra deck, I got one that got Store Emerald. I, out of all the games I played, I never played them, so this could be anything. Um, Thunder Ogre, just one. That's all you need, because you don't really summon them like that. Because most times, uh, but now I'm starting, I'm just starting to use them more, because I just switched my skill to Storm Access, which gives you Firewall Dragon. So, in order to summon him, so in order for to get Firewall Dragon's effect, you be you'll need Thunder Ogre because his Link arrows can point that point that direction, and because Thunder Ogre his effect is he lets you normal summon another monster, he lets you get another normal summon, so. That's why it'll be easier for you to have Fireball Dragon and Thunder Ogre. Because you'll summon the Thunder Ogre, normal summon the monster, link them off into Fireball Dragon. Use Goki Rematch to bring back two. Um, and with that search, you'll search the face turn. Face turn will, will put one of your... Uh, send one of the Gokis that you just got back off rematch to the graveyard to bring back the jet ogre and then you can link or no you just face turn and grab a face turn grab your uh thunder ogre back so now they'll be co linked since he got an arrow pointed up i'm still trying to find a way i could turn one use giant ogre and firewall be connected but i don't think it's a way i really wish it was um, cause Giant Ogre, he's really good cause he, he decreases all monsters on the field, um, attack, he decreases all monsters on the field's attack by their defense, and because all Gokis have defense of zero, you don't have to worry about it, but everybody else, they'll be super low, so more than likely they have to take care of him first before they do anything, or be able to attack. And most times also he got a protection effect because if he if there's a monster in one of the in one of the zones his arrows is pointing to he can destroy them instead so that is really good his little protection so they got to basically banish him or he pretty much gonna be on the board the whole time also, we got two Jet Ogres. Jet Ogre is really... I actually think Jet Ogre is good. Um, he's your Link to. You need him for the combo. And... Also... When he... He got two effects. Like, his one effect, he can tribute himself. Or, no, he can tribute one other Goki on the field. To change the attack... To change the battle position of all monsters on the field to face up attack position. So like if you got a card that's floodgated and you got him on the field, you can always just tribute himself. Then he'll put the other card back in to um into attack mode. Or another thing you can do with him when you use rematch and he's on the field, you can just tribute him, then both of the monsters that you just brought back where rematch will go into attack mode. And then you can attack from there, which is also clutch. Uh, oh yeah, and also when he's sent to the graveyard, he can all Gokis on my all Gokis on the field gain 500 attack as well. And then we playing one security dragon. Uh, comes in handy because he can uh, if he's co-linked, he can bounce a card to the hand as well. And we play radiant for the earth radiant basically uh all earth monsters gain 500 attack when it's on the field and decreases wind monsters by 400 so this is actually good just a nice little attack boost for goki since normally i like playing ties that bind but since i'm trying to use the firewall dragon skill um 
this help this helps you out a little bit. I go on him sometimes because the times I can go into him is either I can go into him or I can go into security dragon, and depending on the situation, if I just know I can attack, I'll just go for I just go for radiant. But yeah, I'm really liking the deck. The deck is really good. It's like OTK heavy. It's like you can destroy people with this deck super easy if they can't st if they just let you continue going on it's you're going to win they really need like a they would have to find a way to stop your link monster and if they don't then you basically win like unless they got like kite roid or well the kite roid only if you attack them directly but if you attack one of their monsters you'll attack like you're killing them 90% of the time if you got finishing move so cuz so easy to link off the only thing is you have to you need super you need super X and super X is a starter also headbat is a starter as well he headbat is a starter as well but he just you gotta have a Goki on the field so basically you need three monsters if you you need three other monsters that's not super X if you um if you got headbat because you'll normal summon like a twist cobra then you got a headbat and a iron claw in your hand you discard the iron claw special summon him then you can go off from there because like the i'm gonna show y'all the main the main little combo what you need because you just need super X any monster and then You got two options of uh, what board you want to end on. You can either end on Giant Ogre with Twist Cobra and another monster on the field. And Twist Cobra and the and the other monster will be in defense mode because you'll summon them off rematch. So then your Giant Ogre will be protected. You got two forms of protection because of that. And if they, somebody can beat over them, you can always just tribute Twist Cobra to boost up the giant ogre for he can attack over it and then or in the other one is like having firewall dragon and thunder ogre co-links those really are two boards you get you got to pick from off two cards you can get those so you can get those boards off two cards you just pick which way you want to go and depending on what back row you draw and like in, your back row could be anything these are not mandatory but like the Goki spell cards, you just want one of each. I low key want to uh, face turns, but I ain't trying to be adding no more bricks. So, but yeah, this is pretty good. Let's get into some games. All right, first game. Look like we're going against uh, um, Salaman Grace. So let's see how this goes. But we got basically full combo. You got Twist Cover and um, Super X. So you can do some things with this. So we'll go into Super X. Special Summon the Twist Cover. Okay. Then after this, you will link those off into Jet Ogre. Mm hmm. The Big Jet. And then you get the two Goki effects. With one, you always want to search Headbat. And then this can be any other card that you didn't summon. Any other Goki monster you didn't you don't have yet. So either the Iron Claw or the Risk Scorpio. This situation I'm gonna go Risk Scorpio. Now you want to use the headbat to special summon itself. Discarding one of your Gokis. We're going to discard the Octo Stretch. Um, to boost up his attack by 800 for he can special summon. Then you link those off into a link 3. Which is going to be... Because of this hand, I had all monsters. I'm about to go to Firewall. The Firewall way for I can... Um, have some type of disruption. Okay. 
We got Thunder Ogre. Headbed effect. Now you with the headbed effect you wanna search the rematch. Okay. And then Jet Ogre effect trigger too. So now Thunder Ogre lets you get you an extra normal summon, so we'll normal summon right here. The Suprex. Suprex effect to special summon two is not once per turn. So I can special summon another Goki. So now I will link one of those off into Firewall Dragon. And then, because a risk Scorpio effect, we will get us another search. This time we will search FaceTime. So now I will use Goki Rematch to get back a, to get back the Octo Stretch. Because we didn't send him from the field to the graveyard yet. We just discarded him. And we'll also get back Twist Cobra. But yeah, that worked out. Okay, so now we use Face Turn to get rid of you. So we can have the Firewall Dragon Co linked. Octo Stretch gives us another search. Um, no. This time we will search Iron Claw just to have. So yeah. So now I could go into another um, Link to if I really wanted to, but I'm gonna keep the Twist Cobra and Suprex on the field so I can discard one of them. I could tribute one of them for they can get the effect off Twist Cobra. I'll chain that to bounce him back. If he got the spell card, I'll be salty. He don't. So we good. So this should just be game. This should be too many attacks for him to be able to do anything. Let's battle. He got treacherous, which is fine. We will tribute the Thunder Ogre for the to get him his little boost. So now the suplex for game. He does have a out. Dang it. Well he had enough to stop us, that's fine. Treacherous come with the territory. Gotta gotta accept it. Denev to your search. I guess. Well, we gotta turn. It just depends on what his face down card is. Cause he'll go into his um the one to bounce all the cards back to your hand. As long as I got one Suprex in my hand, I'll be straight. And because I'm going to have two, I'm going to be good regardless. Because you can't take out both. 
So everything comes down to what his back row is. So yeah, it just comes down to what his back row is. Doesn't have anything, so this should be game. I go into Jet Ogre. Grab me um, head back. Add a card to the hand, we'll add the finishing move to the hand. Discard you, boost you up. Then we link y'all off, go into the giant ogre. Twist in that game. His back row must have not have been anything. Just like that. Hey, let's get it popping. Um, we're going second. Look like we're going up against another um, soul burner. Let's see, is he playing the salads? He is playing the salads. It's my first time going against somebody playing them. So I'm not sure what to stop. Got the Octo Stretch. So we really need um, a Suprex or Rota. Or we're going to be in a bad spot. He might not know what he's doing either. Yeah, he doesn't look like he knows how to what he's doing over there. We will normal summon the the Swiss Cobra. I'm assuming he doesn't have bait links. Okay, what does this do? When this card is normal summon, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. If they, if you do, add one of the uh, excavated Salaman Grace from cards from to your hand. Also, shuffle the rest of, into the deck. If this card is in the graveyard, you can shuffle. You can also if this card is in your graveyard and a faceless builder trap card is on the field. You can discard one Salaman Great card and special summon this card from your hand. Oh. Okay. Look like he's about to.
He got the Omni Negate. Okay. Does this just add a Salamander Great to your hand? Target the Salamander Greatly lost the egg. Get your look here. So, yeah, he just has a. We don't want him to do anything crazy. So, we'll book. We'll book the Foxy. And then, if he goes into Bay Lynx, we will just bounce him back. With um uh, with compose. So, cause he got the gazelle, so I don't know if gazelle triggers off bay links or not. Let's see if it triggers it. It don't, so let's bounce some. So we know he got the Omni Negate right there, so we know we don't have to worry about that. Or he got it in his hand. So yeah, that might be the Omni Negate. Which he need to link monster in order to use it. So we should be straight. And then we got the Super X. So this should be game. Unless he got another card that can stop me. Warning point. This turn that my Fist of Monster cannot attack. And its effects are negated. Also, it cannot be used as lame material. Uh, we will not let that fly. Grab you the head back. So now it should be game. Good thing I had the Twist Cobra on the field, or I would have been stuck. So we already got the Octo Stretch, so now all we need is we can get the Risk Scorpio and we will get the rematch. Send the Risk to the Grave, boost you up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Link y'all off into the Giant Ogre. Okay. It's Big Shrek. And then head back, get us a search too. Jet over, get you a little bit boost. I will grab. We'll just grab finish and move. That's really all we need. And rematch can go for you. And the Scorpio. And this is game. A GG. Alright, let's get it popping. We got what we need. Got what we love to see. We we'll grab the Suprex off the rotor. Then with this hand, I think I'm just gonna do the giant ogre way. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the giant ogre way with this hand. 
Or I could do the firewall. Do I want to do firewall or do I want to do giant ogre and friends? We need a discard for head back and well we I guess we'll just grab another monster. Alright. Okay. I guess okay. I think I'm gonna do fire. I'm gonna go to firewall way just to have some disruption on their turn. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go firewall, so we're gonna go thunder ogre. Here we will grab the suplex. We'll grab a suplex right here. Scorpio will get you a search. We'll grab the rematch. And what did we use for cost? Use the Iron Claw. So we will use rematch. Grab the Iron Claw first. And then the Twist Cobra. So now um, oh. I guess we will have to pop you you can get the attack. Grab the face turn. So now they calling and we should be straight now. I think I can stop them because I feel like both of their um, uh, he didn't even know I had super team and he still used to him. that's kind of wild
I guess we'll just put you back to the hand. Five, okay, not worried. You will be thirty eight, so okay, we got more. should be game. Well, I guess I could have grabbed finish and move, but didn't really need it. Just attack for game. GG's. As you can see, the deck is pretty good. We got our, we got some easy doves, really. I mean, cause like I said, if they can't stop you, then you pretty much OT can. So usually your duels be pretty quick, cause as long as you can full combo, you pretty much beating anybody. So it's like, so the only thing is just get in, being able to summon two monsters on the field before you can link off. Because you, you either need your suprex or you need three monsters and one of them is head back. And you got it. And then you just got to decide what you want to end on. Do you want to go into the firewall dragon way or do you want to go into the giant ogre with two, um... giant ogre with two monsters usually if if i got um two back rows i'll probably go to giant ogre way and if i don't got no back row then i'll go to firewall dragon way so yeah so that's what it is tell me what y'all think is gokies something or nothing